everybody, welcome back to Grim Fandango Remaster. I am Mini Calavera right here, played by Fixer. That's me. And we left off again. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. Yep, I scared Nick off, and he went in there, and to meet with Max, the guy who runs his place, and I stole his cigarette case. Where is it? How is it? This thing right here. It's Virago's cigarette case. And it's got something in it, but I... I don't think it would be a good idea oh, yeah. to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. So... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, Gladys, you're annoying. I want to go through here, yeah. Go! So I'm going to try to take that through the metal detector. Which is... Outside here. Isn't it? No, it's upstairs. Right? Oh, come on. Alright, let's try this out. I know I have everything I Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh. Remember last episode when, um... Oh, you're clean. I drank my... my gold? Rats, Manny. I almost got to strip search you. Yeah, 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 you perv. When I drank my... my alcohol? That's got gold in it. Come on. Gold flakes? Well, maybe just a sip. Uh, maybe? She's gonna let me keep it in my hand. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Or is the gold flakes gonna be in my... in my tummy? You sure you're not packing anything else? <laughs> Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. <laughs> rules are rules. I see. And, of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees <laughs> everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for Ooh, figs. a metal detector. I was like dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all mm, wrinkled dates. up like my grandma Hedwig's face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor never grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. Hedwig, now that's an interesting name. I remember one time <laughs> back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. Ah, six. The golden year. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still seven. alive. Now there was a good dog. Mr. Mr. Rufus? Rufus. That's he hilarious. Alright, let's dog. talk about that metal detector. We didn't care that he was deaf. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Hmm, maybe. No way. Oh, okay. Now where oh, were we? Come oh, come yeah. on. So the only industry in town was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you, you looked. farther than that in your story. <laughs> I myself never really cared for figs. I always Actually, liked dates figs more. Are a personal favorite. Or prunes. Don't All right, let's get a move on here. Prunes? Just at the part about your metal detector. Are you sure you didn't just come back here for this metal detector? Oh. Actually, I did come back here just for your metal detector. I'm sorry. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for oh. it. Oh. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Settle down. Oh, Manny, Manny, Manny. What have you gotten yourself into? Is it gonna go off again? It's gonna go off again. All right, let's not. Bye, Carla. Drop dead. Oh. 
All right, so I gotta go down to the cat litter thing. Where is that? Is it back here? I think. Well, that's the hole I saw Carlos metal detector fall through. Oh no. It's in all the poop. See, this is why I don't have a pet. You and me both. I'm not going in there. So I gotta, I gotta dig it out. Um, maybe I can use my scythe. Oh, this scythe is metal. It'll, it'll ding, ding, ding. Yeah, it's it's beeping. Aha. Okay. Aha. Sweet. I got a metal detector. A little stinky, but it could be worse. What the hell do I do with this now? Hmm. I think it's just picking up my blade. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with that thing. All right. Hmm. I think it's just picking up my blade. Let's put that back in. Let's see if I can examine it. Get any additional info. Oh no, I wanted to examine. Oops. Examine. Next beach I see, I'm finding me a watch. That's it. Alright. And there's nothing around here. So I have a metal detector. What am I supposed to do with that? I have no idea. Oh, no, I don't want to go in there. That's not going to help. I've talked to this guy. I don't... I told you, we don't give out the kitty hats till Tuesday. Here. Oh, another Chowchilla Charlie original. <laughs> Thanks. Can't get enough of these. Jerk. Um... Metal detector. What can I use a metal detector on? Nothing in the blue casket. Tattoo parlor? Alright, let's let's head back to the tattoo parlor and What else we got? We got the bees, the lighthouse. I don't know. Let's see what's in the tattoo parlor first. Come on. Oh, I wonder if I can use the metal detector on. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm Mr. Sleepyhead over here. You're kidding me. Believe Let's it. try it out. I don't really want to do. Yes, you do. Kids. Hmm. I think it's just picking up my blade. That's it. Just crying shame. It keeps picking up his blade. I don't really want to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that didn't work. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Well, if you didn't tell me, someone else would. Can I? I tell you, but I cannot. Can I touch these things? Someone else is here. I'm right here, fool. Let's just say it is bad. What's bad? Yes, yes. Tears were... Hey, Velasco! Manny, do you mind? Artist at work here, eh? I need him to... No, no, go go ahead. Tell me the whole thing. I am listening. I need to give get him to give me a tattoo. What the hell do I do? Let's give him this. I don't think that would get me the key. What would get me the key? All right, let's try a different item. Not that. This might be a bad idea. I don't really want to do that. Okay. 
Or can I wear those? Let's see if I can wear those. I could put them on, but I don't think that would fool Velasco. Hmm. Oh, do I give him my membership card? I'm not using my union card for anything but getting on that boat. I'm not using my union card. No, for... don't go up. Okay. So it's not the card. I've tried using the base to run them. Can I give him this? I'm keeping this little gold mine to myself. No. Not the baster, not that. Can I give him alcohol? Did I try this already? I don't really want to do that. Well, maybe just a sip. Ah. Okay. Alright, so not the alcohol. Give him this. Man, it's fine for you to be comfortable in Rubacaba for your long stay. But I pray you haven't lost sight of the larger goals. It's not this world, but the next in which our true glory lies. Right. That didn't help. So it's not the no, it's not my scythe, and it's not the metal detector. I don't really want to do that. So I'm in the wrong place. Maybe let's head over to the bees. Hello, bees! Go. Any new information, bees? You don't seem to be hard at work here, guys. What's the buzz, boys? It's like the big union guys and us and they, they don't, uh, I mean, we don't ever get, uh, you know, we're just, we're sick of it. You bees gotta be strong. Easy for you to say, topsider. <laughs> so... That didn't get me anything either. Maybe I can... Oh, let's use this. Nothing? Hello? Come on. What's wrong? Something's wrong with my game. Alright guys, got it fixed. Not exactly sure what happened, but the game crashed. And my save was from two episodes ago, so I had to replay it all. But I'm back. Up to snuff, I think. If I may have forgotten something. If I did, we'll worry about that some other time. But um, I know I gotta get this key out of my cigarette case. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. And then jump out the damn window. Oh, She's God. still upset. What? So it is different. You don't want to frisk me? Forgiving me yet? Still in the anger phase. What the hell? All right. Okay. Can't open the part that I think has the key in it. What's that? Cigarettes. <laughs> Compact. Um. Cigarettes. What does it look like? Don't try to make nice, Manny. It's too late. What? New compact? A new compact for your makeup. Manny, I don't wear makeup. You know that. And I'm not saying you need to. Good. <laughs> what? It's a little something special I bought for you. Don't try to make nice, Manny. It's too late. She's a tough what? cookie. I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? <laughs> no, there was a shifty looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! Okay. Was it really a bomb? Ha <laughs> ha! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. That's because it wasn't a bomb. A key. 
I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. That's a good idea. Thanks, Carla. Bye. What was Nick doing with this key? All right. Got the dog tags. What was Nick doing with this key? All right. So I got a key now. And I know there's a locked door. No, not over here. Is it? Yeah, it is. Right here? No. The lighthouse is locked. Uh, that's not the way to the lighthouse. What am I doing? All right, so I've, I've got a key. We're going to check the lighthouse. I also have the dog tags. And I'm not sure what i got to do with the dog tags. The bee's got nothing for me. At least not yet. Let's see a bee's. All right, let's check this place out. Um, is it right in the front? It's locked. Okay. Let's use this guy. <gasps> Lola? Careful, Manny. You may not want to see me like this. Lola! Did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad. But he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Just say yeah, just say yeah! Never mind. Okay. She just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men. Or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! Aww. Did I grab the picture? No. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Is that for the cat track? No. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. It is the cat track, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So, I gotta warn Olivia... She's right over here, so we'll get that done first. No, I want to go this way. All right. Come on, get in there. Chop, chop. Was that there before? I can look at it. Labor organization and revolt made easy. <laughs> Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Oh! It looks pretty dry. I'll save it for tonight when I'm trying to get some sleep. Alright. I don't really want to do that. Let's put the book away. This is Olivia, right? Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Okay, well that didn't do any good. Um, where's that book? Oh man. I got it. Where's the book? Oh. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one. But the workers shall control the means of production. Ooh. Better not show that to Gladys. No, but let's show it to the worker bees. Hello, Mr. Worker Bees. 
Hey, I thought I had the book in my hand. This is how you do it. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class? I say we fight back! Hmm, what's this? Maybe a bee agitator? <laughs> I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here! You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Morgan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Okie dokie. Let's see if they got anything to say. So, what are you guys doing to free Terry? Hmm, guess it's up to me. Alright, fine. Don't do crap, guys. Jeez. Alright, so what am I doing now? Hello? Oh, hi! Betting stub, please. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye! I think... Let's get that in my hand. Yeah. I don't really want to do that. Oh, come on! With what? That is a betting stub, is it? Oh, I don't know. But I think we'll figure out next time because time is up. And thank you guys for watching and I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.